What's up, YouTube? So, by the grace of my fans and what have you, I have been forgiven for my actions, and um, that makes me feel a whole lot better, you know? The person who actually sent the pocket pussy to me said, no worries, man, you know, I'll just, he was just saying, hey, look, man, you know, just try to cheer up a little bit. Fair enough. Um, shit. <sighs> yeah. As I struggle with... <laughs> figuring shit out. Kick off my boots and sip on my drink. A drink, you say? Yes, I have alcohol. I made me a mixed drink and it's quite delectable. Get my boots kicked off here real quick. I'm just glad people have forgiven me because I couldn't live with myself if... Oh, man. I need to wash my, my trip pants, man. I got mud all over them. I mean, they're still wearable. It's just... I gotta, wa I gotta wash them. I gotta wash them! Anyway, this is my drink combo right here. I have four loco, okay, this is four loco watermelon mixed with pinnacle birthday cake vodka and a little bit of lemon tea. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember freaking uh, I'm trying to remember what tea was used. I know, I know it was a lemon tea, but I don't remember the company that made it. It's irrelevant at this point. I'm just gonna sit here and and drink. There's about that much four loco in there. There's about about that much vodka in there, and then there's about that much tea in there. And uh, Pinnacle Birthday Cake Vodka is delicious. I've also had Pinnacle Cotton Candy Vodka before. That was a long ass time ago. But yeah, Pinnacle makes good vodka. Um. <coughs> oh shit, excuse me. Freaking uh, Pinnacle Vodka is like 70 proof. And uh, I cracked the bottle open and I smelt it, and I'm like, whoo, yeah, that, that smells pretty strong. But then I took a shot of it, and the Pinnacle um, Birthday Cake Vodka went down really smooth, no burn at all. And for vodka to taste that good and have no burn, that is a testament to Pinnacle flavored vodkas right there. Um, the birthday cake vodka actually ha tasted like birthday cake, so I definitely recommend it. To my fans, to my subscribers, and to everyone out there who supports me on YouTube, cheers. I'll take care of rent tomorrow. And internet.
My um, BC Rich Warlock needs to be re. It might potentially need to be rewired. The amp jack needs tightened. Because, like, if I plug it in and if the cable moves, it can turn off sound. And then on top of that, the pickup needs replaced. And that's just money I don't have right now. now I was going to try to learn the Exorcist theme on guitar before Halloween. And I'm not going to be able to do that if the electric guitar is not working. I mean, I can still play the acoustic, so, yeah. But, I'm thinking about quitting guitar anyways. I haven't fully decided yet. But when I voiced this opinion on Facebook, a lot of people came forward, they're like, you shouldn't quit guitar. One person even commented, like, dude, I've been watching your videos since 2013, and you've gotten so much better at guitar. And I guess it's just, it's easier to, um, say these things when you're depressed, you know. Scrounge up like 50 cents and um, get all dressed up and I'll take the city bus to the other side of town and you know just start hitting up every fast food restaurant that I can until I get a job. Although I bought a lottery ticket and the drawing is this Wednesday. I think the jackpot for the Powerball is at 185 million, which is a pretty sweet chunk of change. Um, my chances of winning are slim to none, but I do like to play the lottery every now and then because the thought of winning would be sweet. I would build my dream house on 20 acres of land and I could I would literally invite fans to come chill and kick it with me in my dream house uh. See the pinnacle vodka, the, the pinnacle birthday cake vodka is like 70 proof. And the four loco is at 12% alcohol. So the pinnacle vodka is a lot stronger than the four loco. Huh. Honestly though, like the four loco overpowers the taste of the birthday cake vodka but at the same time this is actually a very tasty drink combination right here it's alcohol I'm not complaining shit <laughs> I will be doing the Wendy's T-Rex burger challenge I don't know when but at some point in the near future, I will be attempting that challenge. I did promise that once I passed 4,000 subscribers that I would do it. And I don't know when I'll be able to do it. 
But one of these days, I'm going to do that challenge for y'all on YouTube. You basically, basically, you order three triple bacon cheeseburgers from Wendy's, and you take the buns off the two of them, and you stack all the meat and condiments between t two buns onto one giant ass burger. I mean, you don't have to get bacon for the challenge, but if I want to do the challenge, you might as well go all out, you know. And uh, Wendy's has excellent bacon on their burgers. That's one of the few things I miss about working at Wendy's, like walking through that kitchen and just smelling bacon all damn day. Oh. That's just one of the, you know what I'm saying, like, that's just one of, that's one of the few things I miss about working at Wendy's. You know, the customers I'd, I'd help out, the smell of bacon in the kitchen, and my co-workers too, you know. But it is what it is. Shit, if I win the fucking lottery in two days, I won't have to apply for a job. <laughs> uh, I'm just glad that the person who sent me the pocket pussy is not upset, you know what I'm saying? Like... I feel like such a dick, you know. I feel like a huge dick. One, like, oh, a fan sent this to me. And then, on top of that, it was somebody who stuck up for me in the videos, you know what I'm saying? But one person commented on my last video, don't trip out about it because plenty of YouTubers destroy things their fans send them. Fair enough. Fair enough. Mm. Who Nellies? There's enough alcohol in this can to get the job done. Um, I don't think I'd be drunk after consuming this entire can of mixed drink, but I'll definitely be feeling it when the can's done. And I figured, why not drink this entire can for you on camera? Mm. Oh yeah, one of my buddies gave me these uh, trip pants and uh, his uh his wife had bought him for him, but he's he's divorcing his wife. He's already he's already on the process of divorcing his wife, anyways, and this kind of thing is just not his style. So he's like, "Fuck yeah, I'll give these to Josh," you know. Um, cleaning out my apartment for my inspection is not going to be difficult. Um, the fridge is actually pretty clean, but it does need a little bit of touch-up. The stove definitely needs a, a little bit of touch-up. The dishes in the sink need done, but there's not a whole lot. Um, the floor needs swept and mopped in the kitchen. And then my sink, my bathtub, and toilet, and the bathroom floor need cleaned. But, by all standards, it's not that dirty, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do, I do a pretty good job of keeping the place clean. And the inspection is on the 20th, so I got plenty of time to uh, clean and stuff. One person commented on my last video. Oh, the reason why you're having conflicting views about sex is because you haven't had it in a while. Psst. 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 Whatever, dude. Yeah, whatever, dude. Uh, 
I still have one earring from the original set that I bought. Mm -hmm. uh, I can squeeze this earring just like this. And if I close my eyes, I can still see the very attractive girl that I bought these from. First thing I noticed about this girl that I bought these earrings from was, damn, she's fucking hot as hell. Second thing I noticed is that she smokes. And third thing I noticed is she's kind of, she might be into that gothic lifestyle. And I was going to ask her out, but like two weeks after I bought these, two to four weeks after I bought these earrings, I go to ask her out and she no longer works at the mall. I was just like, damn the luck. I was talking to one of my buddies about it and he goes, oh yeah, that's so-and-so. Yeah, she's already got a boyfriend. I'm like, well, that just figures, doesn't it? Hmm. I really shouldn't be focused on girlfriends and sex until I've actually gotten myself a stable job, you know? Because most women aren't going to want to be with somebody who's jobless. The only exception, of course, is if you're in junior high or early high school, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. I don't know, I kind of want to drink this entire can, and then I kind of want to take a couple shots and then save it for later. Just, just try to cheer up. Well, I will try, but there's no guarantees. another shot wouldn't hurt
lot of you ask the question, what does my dad think about this issue? And my dad straight up told me, enough with the sex doll crap, man. If you want one, get a job and save up money. And my dad's kind of pissed off at people right now because... A quote from my dad, which is, people encouraging you to do things just for their own sick amusement because they want something to laugh at. Uh, like, my dad doesn't care that I want a sex doll. He doesn't, you know. But my dad has straight up told me that Look, if you get a sex doll, you're, you're going to have a harder time getting a girlfriend because women are creeped out by men having sex with toys. Which is funny because women get sex toys too, but they don't see a problem with They don't see the hypocrisy of it, you know? Like, women will turn around and be like, oh, he's getting a sex toy to fuck himself? Well, that's just disgusting. But then turn around and buy themselves a fucking vibrator and it's like wait you were just giving him shit for getting something to fuck himself with and here you are buying a vibrator what the fuck if I could get a job making fifteen hundred every two weeks that's a that would be sweet, but it would mean I'd be busting my ass, you know what I'm saying? Uh, long ass days. Mm. Now, if I could get a job where I could make some decent money, you know, I could be making... F no, theoretically, I could be making about 1800 every month if I found the right job. You know. Um my bills are covered until I get another job, so I know some of you are probably concerned about this, but no need to worry. Um, my bills will be covered until I get another job, at least. Take another shot and put this in the fridge for later. I'm not really tipsy, you know. I mean, I got a little bit, just just a little bit of an alcoholic buzz going, but it's it's nothing major. This way, you know, I can have some more for later. Someone made a comment on my last video. 
They're like Ozzy Osbourne, goodbye to romance. <laughs> For real. Uh, you know, I had wands to mail off, but I, I can't mail them off right now with no job. So, freaking. Um, the Ozzy Osbourne wand is almost done. When I get some more green spray paint, I'm going to do the tip of it in green to go with the black. It'll look really sweet. Um, I got J.K. Rowling's wand done. I even tried engraving her name on the side of it, which I managed to pull that off pretty sweetly. It looks like it's actually part of the stick, but when you look at it closer, you can see the words. So, yeah. Huh. And, uh, yeah, Four loco is pretty good. I like it. I've had the watermelon, and I've had the peach. I don't think I've tried the fruit punch flavored. But this watermelon flavor is alright. I like it. Um, my favorite Four loco flavor would definitely have to be peach. Eh, fuck it, one more shot. Oh. I was about to take a drink and I'm like, you know, the opening of the can's facing on this side. Maybe you should turn the can around. There you go. Hmm. Who Nelly? get that that birthday cake flavored vodka on the aftertaste and um yeah this is a this drink combo has got a nice kick to it <laughs> uh. mm. It's not going to take me that much, really, to, uh, to clean the stuff that needs cleaned. It's not going to take me that much. And that is my tip from me to you. If you're living on your own for the first time and you hate doing chores, then what you can do, you know, is if you keep the place you live in relatively clean then your chores won't be like a hassle because it won't take much to clean it up you see what I'm saying Ooh. hello alcoholic bird in my stomach <laughs>
step off camera for a minute. Step off camera and kick on the old pajama bottoms. Ugh. Ooh, there's a fire in my belly. And it's the alcohol, man. It's the bloody fucking alcohol. <sighs> no, nah, but in all seriousness, though, <sighs> ah, a bowl of pipe tobacco sounds quite marvelous right about now. Looky here, Captain Black Dark. This is pretty good pipe tobacco. Um, someone were to ask me a question, which do I prefer more, pipe tobacco or cigarettes? And that is a tough, tough one for me because I like them both. I like cigarettes just because the, you know, cigarettes are awesome. I don't care if they have any health repercussions. I really don't. But I like pipe tobacco because it, it smells good. It tastes good. It's cheaper than cigarettes. But, well, smoking a pipe, especially in a windy city like Casper, can be uh, relatively difficult. Oh yeah. You, you didn't. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Shit. You didn't see me mix the drink on camera, but you did at least see me sip on it a little bit. I'm starting to feel a little bit tipsy. I'm like, you know, I can make that can last me like another day if I just 
save some of it for later. to make sure my alarm is set. And just because you've seen my dad on Facebook is no indication of my hair. My dad likes to shave his head bald. That's just how he likes to do his hair. And there's really no indication of my hair right here, you know what I'm saying? Which, when you look at it right now, doesn't look that bad. Well, anyways, this is a uh, King Cobra JFS with. Hold on. Oh, that, that upside down. Get back up there. This here is King Cobra JFS with another video. And um, I thank you all for watching. And uh, I'll catch you all later.